I'm ready now to give you a little dose of inspiration this morning. My next guest, she is another amazing client from the Florida Keys Outreach Coalition. Now, she walked through their doors when she was 18, still in school, and ended up finding a new beginning waiting for her. Rosa, thank you so much for being here with me today. You're welcome. I enjoy hearing your story because you are an inspiration, Rosa. And now, I mentioned that you walked through the doors of the Outreach Coalition yeah. when you were 18. So obviously, you were at a point in your life where you felt you didn't have anywhere else to turn. Right. What was going on, Rosa? You were still in school right now. So what led you to make that decision to walk through those doors? Well me knowing that I was soon to be going to be, you know, a parent, I mean, that just there showed me that I needed to make a new step. Mm -hmm. Now, I was a teenage homeless, you know, I w I've never had a stable home with my brothers or sisters. I was always back and forth from California here, back mm -hmm. and forth. Um, I didn't want my son having to, you know, think that I was okay to be somewhere that he wasn't too sure of, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that's what led me to go there. Right. And I've known Stephanie for quite a while. Mm -hmm. I've I've been in shelters with my parents, with my mom. Um, when I had Stephanie there, I knew I could go run back and, and you know, help me out mm -hmm. with the situation I was in. I didn't, I didn't really have anybody to run to, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and she was very helpful. And you, Stephanie is one of the leaders over at yes. the Florida Keys Outreach Coalition. She's an amazing woman who's helped very. a lot of people. And, mm -hmm. and so, Rosa, it sounds like you had a childhood that you didn't want your My future child, yeah. child to have to go right. through. So when you walked through those doors, Rosa, tell me. It, it sounds like you I were knew something embraced. I positive was going to come out of this. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, I, I didn't have a great communication with his father. Um, I knew it wasn't going to work out with him. So I figured the only way was to find a way to make it on my own mm -hmm. and... Mm -hmm. They were there for me, and, and it, it was I, I I came out through. You did. You did, did come out through. You you ended up graduating, Rosa, mm -hmm. and now I you graduated. have graduated. You have a beautiful they, boy. Yes, <laughs> two going on three, and and I feel I I feel very I'm, I'm happy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they actually they that was that was very helpful. Mm -hmm. They gave you confidence yes. to get on your feet, Rosa, mm -hmm. because you can, you can they, do it. You can. <laughs> there's, there's. I have plenty of friends that are out there thinking this is the end. I've, I've given them, you know, plenty of, you know, information about places that they can go to. It's not the end, mm -hmm. even though they don't take it. I'm sitting there just steady telling them, look, it works. Mm -hmm. you just mm -hmm. gotta be strong, and there is people that are willing to give you more more strength mm -hmm. to move mm -hmm. forward with mm -hmm. you and your kids. Well, you're definitely helping your friends then, Rosa. Yeah. You're helping people. I try, but they're hard-headed. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Don't stop trying. <laughs> and now, Rosa, tell me, when you went to the FKOC, what ended up happening right away, Rosa? Did they put you up in housing? or They, they helped me with housing a lot. Mm -hmm. um, it was just there and... Um, I didn't have to worry about where I had to sleep the next day or, mm -hmm. you know, I was pregnant. I wasn't just recently pregnant. I was mm -hmm. out there about six months pregnant, okay. seven, eight months pregnant. Mm -hmm. um, so you didn't have to worry, like you said, yeah, about sleeping. You didn't have to really worry about no, food. You no, kind of had that provided for you were, as well. Yes, mm -hmm. they were very helpful with everything. Work-wise as well, um, they'll ha they help you a lot, and they help me a lot. Well, and of course, the big thing is that the encouragement and the support that they give you. Rosa, where are you at right now? Now you're right a graduate. Now, I'm a graduate. Mm -hmm. I, have a, I have a good job mm -hmm. too. I'm I'm living somewhere that I, it's it's permanent. Okay. So it's it helped me on that part. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, Permanent housing, two jobs, mm -hmm. and a son, a two-year-old yes. son. And so hopefully you, looking forward to 
moving further in, you know, career-wise. Mm -hmm. You're you're a busy woman, Rosa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what what do you want to do? What what would be some of your future goals, Rosa? Well, right now I'm still in the field to where I don't know, mm -hmm. but I hopefully one one day I'll figure out. And mm -hmm. I'm still, you know, I'm still young. I'm still trying to fish around mm -hmm. and figure out what I really want. Do you have a dream, Rosa? Yes, to make it, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, make it somewhere. <laughs> well, I think you've already made it, though. No, not enough. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess I, I don't. You want to stay on the path. I just want to stay in a good path. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and provide a stable home. For my child, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, Rosa, I think you are one strong lady, and you Thank don't you. let obstacles get in your way. And, uh, and I look forward to hearing a little bit more about what's in store for you, Rosa, because yeah. I think you have big things in store for you. So. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> you do. Well, thank you, Rosa, so much You're for sharing welcome. your story with us this morning. And again, the Florida Keys Outreach Coalition, they've helped so many people mm -hmm. like yourself. They're an amazing organization right here in Monroe County. For more information, just check out the information that you see on the bottom of the screen. I'm going to take a quick break right now, but I'll be right back after these messages.